Hey guys, we are starting a new reading vlog today. I got a lot of good feedback on the last reading vlog that I did, which made me super excited because I was a little bit nervous about posting something different like that, like out of my comfort zone. But I thought that I would start this before I finished save the date. If you guys watched my video, Instagram controls my day, I had a poll between this book and Verity on which book I should read next and this one won. Guys, this book is so good. I have like, I think 66 pages left or something like that. This book is amazing. It is seriously like watching a movie. I have never said that about a book before, but this is seriously like watching a movie. It is so good. It reminds me of the movie, The Big Wedding. That is one of my all time favorite movies. This book is so, so good. I would recommend it for a very easy summer casual read. It's a very quick read. I'm getting through it very quickly. I haven't finished it yet because I don't really want it to end. I did look up to see if it's a movie and it's not, but if anybody out there has connections, make this book a movie. It would be so cute. It would be such, such a cute movie. But yeah, anyways, that's what I'm reading right now. I'll do a better like in-depth review when I finish it. And then when I finish Save the Date, I will be starting Verity because that was the next one on my little TBR list. So, all right, that's just kind of the intro to this new reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. It is Monday morning. I'm here with Magnolia. It is currently 10:15. So far today we have had breakfast. Magnolia had a bath. Just little things like that, you know, getting our week started. Anyways, what I'm doing right now is I want to tell you guys how I liked Save the Date. So if you guys saw in some of my other clips, I put Save the Date on the shelf and I started Verity. I'm only 30 pages into Verity right now because I didn't start reading it until like 11 o'clock last night. I just had a busy day. I'm currently pregnant if you guys didn't know that. I was very tired yesterday. I just really wanted to rest and do nothing. So I didn't even read. I, <laughs> I literally did nothing yesterday. So Save the Date by Morgan Madsen. I would kind of say this is like a coming of age young adult book that's how i would describe it i think the main character she's 18 years old she is about to graduate high school and her older sister is getting married the main character's name is charlie and charlie has been waiting for her older sister to get married she has kind of romanticized how exciting this wedding is going to be and about how much she's looking forward to her family being together because she is the youngest of I believe five siblings and so her siblings are never all in the same place at the same time and she's just really looking forward to it but the wedding has so many things go wrong there is just problem after problem dilemma after dilemma and it's so good the whole book takes place over three days it's friday saturday sunday and it is very captivating i read this book very fast it's a little over 400 pages but it didn't feel like that it really just felt like i was watching a romantic comedy movie magnolia is throwing toys sorry if it's loud it really just feels like a romantic comedy movie it is so good if you're looking for something that's easy to read that would be perfect for the summer i definitely recommend this book it gets a 10 out of 10 from me and if you guys have any more romantic comedy book suggestions i would absolutely love them and if you've read save the date let me know in the comments down below how you liked it but that's my little review on save the date i absolutely loved it it was so good hey guys it is the same day it's still monday i've read about 50 or 60 pages of verity today i couldn't read during her entire nap time because i had some house things i needed to get done i needed to do dishes start laundry super fun mom stuff but anyways i'm opening this now well i opened my camera now so that i can open a package i ordered some books i ordered three books i think they're all coming together so the first book is practical magic i 
bought this book because if you guys watched my summer TBR video, I bought the rules of magic and did not realize until I got home from Barnes and Noble that it is a prequel to Practical Magic. So I wanted to read Practical Magic first. Even though this is a prequel, I want to read them in the order that they were released. If you guys watched my summer TBR, this is included in the summer TBR because I didn't know this was a prequel. So now I have both of these so I can start reading these whenever I want. This next book is The Midnight Library. <laughs> This is the book that my Instagram book club picked for July. So I know it's not quite July yet, but I went ahead and ordered it so that I could start it in July. Like whenever I wanted to, I just wanted to have it for July. So I ordered this book. I am excited to read this one. I see so many people on Instagram and YouTube talk about this book. So I got this one. And then the last book that I got is People We Meet on Vacation. I have been seeing everyone post about this book and talk about this book or say that it's in their summer TBR. So I was making a book purchase on Amazon anyways. And um, I believe this one was on sale. And so I went ahead and bought it. So I had that and I just thought that it would make a really good summer read. So I don't want to like push it off till the fall or the winter or anything. These three books are all going to be included in my summer wrap up video. I've just like added them to my summer TBR even though I already like made that video or whatever. But yeah, I did a little mini book purchase with these three books. I'm excited to read them. I'm actually reading books this summer a lot quicker than I thought I would. I originally started reading again because I was getting really bad headaches from screen time because when Magnolia would take a nap, I would just take that time to rest because I'm pregnant and tired and you know, I chase a baby around all day. So during her nap times, I was watching YouTube videos or scrolling through Instagram, watching Instagram reels, scrolling through Twitter, like all of these things. And I was getting horrible headaches. So I started reading and now I'm reading about two hours a day when she's napping, you know, give or take. Cause like today I only read for about an hour cause I had other things I had to do. But then at night also when my fiance plays video games, I read instead. So I'm reading like one to two hours a night too. So I'm reading between like two and five hours a day give or take you know like yesterday i only read for like 30 minutes it's been about like two to five hours a day i've been reading so i'm going through books pretty quickly i'm really enjoying it and i'm happy that i decided to start reading and have less screen time and my headaches have gone away it has helped my headaches go away so that is a bonus <laughs> Something else I have been enjoying recently is this 300 more writing prompts. It's a little journal that asks you questions and you record your answers. I really like this because they're questions you may or may not have thought about before. You're also like putting pen to paper and recording your answers. This is therapeutic for me in a way and a good way to kind of spend time with Magnolia in her room while she does independent play. here for a little update it is Tuesday I've had a day <laughs> I had to take my daughter to get allergy tested this morning and then we came back she was kind of worn out so she's been taking a nap and I finished Verity and I will have to say it lives up to the hype of the book I feel like a lot of people recommend Verity people are like this book is so good like if you like thrillers if you like suspense if you like mystery type books like you need to read it I will say it lives up to the hype 100% it's a very interesting concept for a book basically this author has been injured in a car accident and her book series is not finished yet and so the main character has been hired to finish her book series for her and that's kind of like the basis of it but there's lots of plot twists to this book I don't want to talk too in depth because this is not going to be a full review with spoilers I will just say that it had me hooked from the very first page the only reason I didn't read past 30 the first time I was reading it was because I started reading at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and I was honestly just tired 
every time I've read it, I have not wanted to stop reading it. It had a lot of suspense to it. The whole book had this creepy vibe to it. I really enjoyed it. If you've read it, I would love to discuss the ending with you in the comments. I'm not too happy on how the book ended, but I do think that the way it ended adds to the element of the book. Overall, um, very good. Definitely recommend. Really quick read. I am loving Colleen Hoover. This month I have read Layla and Verity and I plan to read the rest of the books. Like if she has written a book, I plan to read it. <laughs> I really like her books. The only complaint I have about them is that they're too short. Like I want more from the storylines, but that's just because I like the way she writes, but they're very good books. I would recommend Layla and Verity. Five out of five on both of them for me, but I just wanted to say that this is going to be the end of my reading vlog. This has been a very casual <laughs> reading vlog. I haven't been doing a lot. It's been raining. I've been kind of tired from being pregnant and all of that good stuff. So anyways, I don't really know what book I'm going to read next. Anyways, I don't know what book I'm going to read next, but if you guys follow my Instagram, every time I finish a book, I post a little review on it on my story. And I have a highlight called books where you guys can look through that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.